I jump and I land on him and I land up my foot out and it. I met a gypsy. I did take the knee braces off. Dude, it's it's interesting, huh? Go to uh, go to that Liat EX. So this is a, this is exactly what I did. I paid for this with my own money. MX store man. Literally, I paid for this with my own money, and I will say. I would change these knee pads. Uh, there's things that I would do to make them a little bit better. But, so I, I went to MX Store on the way to the eight hour at Coffs Harbour. Yep. And I just did the eight hour in them. It was fucking great experience. It is better in terms of... Flexibility, mobility, feel on dude, the bike. You, you know what's crazy? So, my footwork is... It's easier to get my footwork right. I don't know why haven't spent enough time to really understand why but i just noticed i was could be so much more like precise and i just had more feel with my feet so that was the first thing that i noticed and then the second thing of like straight up you can just feel the bike better and anyone that after i've worn it so many pairs of knee braces now i definitely think you have better feel you do sacrifice I'll also say I personally don't think that knee braces are going to do that much to like save your knee twisting like an ACL type thing like the side like an impact like flexion where you've got like something uh, like pressing against the middle of your knee where the like essentially where like the joint of the brace is I reckon it would stop your knee from doing that like way. Like a, a hyperextension. Yeah, yeah yeah but like a sideways hyperextension so that would definitely cause an ACL but the the twisting motion of like dabbing your leg and get it i don't personally i've hurt my knees i haven't hurt them like a torn meniscus so i've done three acls and how have you done them so first acl um no knee braces in supercross yeah um how'd you do it what what yeah yeah it was on off like 125 days like on off (laughs) and I spun and caught my toe, to yeah. your point, on the front of the tabletop, yeah. and it spun up behind me. Yeah. So, like, it twisted it yeah. out, um, inside out, and yeah. it popped it. Yeah. And then... Do you reckon if you had a knee brace on, that it would have done... It would have helped I, you? I... It's so hard to it's tell so hard for to a tell. start. On that, it wasn't a very high-speed one, so maybe. Yeah. Okay, but then I get it fixed, and going i'm racing a local race for a local club race just getting back from that and i i'm behind a guy and i jump and land on him and i land up my foot out and it bends the other way and it pops my other acl like nine months later i think a knee brace would have saved that because it had like more stability yeah but i think for me um that knee brace it controls like if you don't have like good fundamental like base of like little the little muscle in your knee yeah it compensates it's a brace it's yeah. a brace so like for me i've had three acls it takes a it took a lot of work to rehab and then once yeah. you, once you get back to that point like your little little fine muscles like you can get them back that's not yeah. without saying but once you start getting used to a brace supporting you you don't go all the way. Yeah. Right. So like, I cannot, I, I, I'm not saying I, I, I cannot ride cause it's not the right thing to do. I can't ride it without knee braces. Cause confidence wise, I've had an ACL on my left and two ACLs on my yeah. right. I, there's no way in hell I could even take the risk in the, yeah. in, in mentally it's more of like a placebo. And, yeah. and um, if I was in your situation and I'd had three knee injuries, I probably would run braces as well to be completely honest. Yeah. But I've also, I've noticed, I pu- I put in like work to my flexibility. It's like yeah. a huge part of literally my life. Yeah, yeah. And I've noticed since I broke my hip in July, I've gone ham on the hip mobility, quads, like stretch and everything. I thought I was going to have to have surgery on my meniscus because my, my knee, so like to fully bend my knee, so heel to ass. When I started jujitsu, I couldn't do it. And I actually didn't even know that that was like a thing that you yeah, need. You're, if you're not if you're not using nah. it, it's gonna just go away, right? Yeah. And that goes back to like a knee brace. Yeah. If you the knee brace, I, I have it stop early so it doesn't hyperextend, and you're I mean you actually are hurting yourself over time. 
right? Because yeah. you're you're allowing the and brace. that was Rhino's point as well. He said, "What you don't brace, you make weaker. Not because He's it's right. weaker He's... in terms of." And again, people miss the context. Like not weaker as in like the brace around your knee is going to make the inside of your knee turn to jelly. No, but over time, I allow on that brace to do the dirty work for me. Yeah, like yeah. and that's I'm not saying I don't, but. I love my asterisk cell knee braces, the carbon knee brace. Love it because it's thinner, just like neck braces when everything's getting smaller and leaner. So like at what point are we compensating our protection for not having feel feel and and ergonomics? Yeah. No, I do. I, I'm not going to fight the argument. Like it's a valid, I I have no, like it's just my body's compromise. Yeah. I need the support. I could, I could get it. I could get it back. Yeah. Dad of two kids, forty probably years old, happening. probably not happening. I'm not gonna. I'm not get gonna, on some tests. Yeah, so it's like, I I get it. Like I totally agree with the way you can feel the bike. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy gang.